Hey guys, so in today's video I'll be doing a Poundland makeover. Zero to a hundred Poundland style. Let's see if we can make it happen. So basically our Poundland is like a magical place. We got makeup, we got shoes, we got clothing, we got food, we got milk, we got meat. We literally have everything in our little Poundland. So why not use that to make a video. I know a few other people have done like a full face of Palan makeup but I tried not to watch too many of those because I want to be surprised on my own. But anyway without further ado let's just jump straight into this video. So everything I'm going to be using this video is from Poundland except for my makeup brushes. They did have some makeup brushes but not the ones that I needed so in the end I just came out with a makeup sponge and I also didn't get an eyeliner or a primer. Eyeliner because I wasn't really sure if that was going to be like my vibe today and primer because I, did, I didn't have a primer at all so yeah what's that. So yeah we're going to jump straight into it with foundation. Foundation. This is the foundation I picked up. It is by Makeup Gallery, which is like their makeup brand. And this is in the shade Cappuccino 6. We had to go to two different Poundlands to find this one because they didn't have it in the other stores. Originally, I wanted to get two different shades. I wanted to get Nude and Cappuccino because I wasn't sure which one was going to be my shade. And I thought, you know what, if all else fails, I can mix them together. But sadly, I could only find this one. So it's going to have to do. I'm going to be applying it with the sponge that I also got from Poundland. It's like nice and chunky and fat. It feels a bit hard, so uh, we'll see how that goes on my face. Foundation time. I really hope this shade suits me. I don't know how much to use. I mean, colour-wise on here, it looks like it'll suit me, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, I need a mirror. So, ooh. Okay, colour-wise, it does look like it'll suit me, but it does look slightly on, like, the uh, neutral side. Oh, wait, is that oxidising? Eh. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to work fast. It's so weird. It's like, when I put it down as a clump, you see one colour, but then when you put it on, like, thinner, I feel like, do you see that? The colour here is darker. I don't know if you can see that, but hopefully you can. Anyway, let's give this a blend and see how this looks. I feel like it's blending into nothing. Okay, let's try this side. Is it doing something? I'm not sure if this little sponge is picking up and absorbing all the foundation because I'm not sure if there's anything actually left on my face. Like, I don't see any coverage at all. Maybe I'll have to use a foundation brush. So honestly, I feel like that did absolutely nothing. I honestly think this absorbed everything. Like, do you see a difference? I don't think I see a difference. Am I slightly golden? I'm not sure. Let's go get a foundation brush because this has absorbed everything. Okay, so I'm gonna try again this time with a foundation brush. This is the Heavenly Luxe It Cosmetics brush. brush. It is super cute and it has been used, so it's a little bit dirty, but well, hey, it'll be fine. Okay, let's give this a blend. I mean, I wasn't hoping for a miracle, but like a miracle would be nice, you know? I'm gonna put some on my eyelid as well, just so I think blends in. I blended this out. It's starting to weirdly separate on my eyelids. And it's also started peeling, which is really weird. Like, do you see that? It's like weirdly peeling. So we're gonna start again because that was a bit of a fail. Like, I don't know what's happening, but it's not applying to my face. Like, I don't know what to do. So I'm literally just gonna wipe everything off. We're gonna start again, but this time I'm gonna use a primer. I'm not sure what kind of primer. Maybe my face is like too like oily or something. So I think I'm gonna try like a matte primer and see how that goes. And I don't know, like should I apply with a brush? Should I use a sponge? Okay, so I think for the most part, I've got it off. I feel ugh, horrible because I hate using makeup wipes. But I'm gonna go in with my Fenty primer because this is a soft matte primer and hopefully it does something. It helps it from like, helps it stop peeling. So the coverage is so minimal now, I literally can't see anything. So I don't know. I'm gonna try adding a little bit more. I just, I don't see any coverage. Do you see anything? On camera, I feel like maybe this side looks a touch pinker, but like, I don't know, I don't really see much. The same thing's happening where like it's pilling. I don't I don't know what to do. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe that off again and this time I'm gonna try applying it with my fingers. Maybe that will work. I haven't applied foundation with my fingers, I think, ever actually. I think I've always used like a brush or a sponge, so hey ho! We're taking it back to basics using my hand. So there we go, it's on. It looks like nothing, but I guess it's better than nothing, kind of, I guess. 
it's kind of on my face kind of on my hand like I don't know where does it disappear to like it's not on my face it's not on my hand where does it just get absorbed or is like my skin eating it I don't know mm, I suppose it did like a little something so little you can barely see it but I guess it's doing something okay so foundation is done so now it's time to move on to concealer for concealer I have this little Thing. This is called the Makeup Gallery Hide and Chic Concealer with Natural Coverage. At this point, um, I think it is going to be natural coverage because <laughs> it's barely on my face. So this is like the proper old school style concealer where it literally looks like a lipstick. But hey, if it works, it works. So I'm going to apply this using my finger because so far that's like what's been working for us. Oh, and by the way, this is in the shade... I don't... I don't know. I mean, when I picked it up, it looked like the medium shade, I think. But on here, it actually doesn't say. So, um, yeah, we're not sure what shade this is. But let's give this a whirl. I mean, it looks like it's the right shade. I'm just going to get a little bit on my finger, like so. And I'm uh, just going to press it What I need it. Oh. You know what? That's actually not bad. Not bad at all. Wow. I'm actually quite shocked. I mean, it hasn't made a huge difference. Oh, actually, on camera, it looks like a huge difference. In person, you, it doesn't look like a huge difference, but you definitely see a difference. It, I mean, it's nice and creamy. It doesn't, like, ball up. I don't think I can use this to highlight my face or anything because the colour is, like, such a true skin match. And I didn't want to go too pale in case, like, it was a complete fail. So I was like, whatevs. We have, like, a nice, soft, dewy look today. I'm going to also apply it on, like, some of my spots. Honestly, I feel like this is giving better coverage than the foundation. I kind of want to put this all over my face and just go with it, but let's not. I can't be off taking this off for like a third time. Okay, so the concealer is actually not the worst thing. I actually kind of like it. So far, I love it way more than foundation. The foundation, like I'm ready to throw it in the bin, but this concealer, like, it's not bad. Like, it's pretty, pretty good. But anyway, I'm going to apply some of this to my eyelids as well. I think for my eyes, I'm just going to paint it on and then blend it out with my finger. Wow, I actually really like this, like the consistency and everything is like, it's, it's pretty good. Okay, you are a good one. I might actually keep you around. Mm. Okay, now that the concealer's done, it's time to powder my face. And I'm going to be, uh, and I'm going to be using the Makeup Gallery Smoothly Desert Pressed Powder. And this in the shade Honey Beige 3. Ba bam, ba bam, bam. Color wise, mm, it's okay. It's okay. We'll see. I'm only going to apply this under my eyes because I generally don't tend to powder the rest of my face, so why do it now? Just going to grab a little bit of this. It's not clumpy or gross or anything like that. It's just, it's actually quite nice. The other thing that I couldn't get was like a contouring powder or like a bronzer because honestly the shade range they had just wasn't the shade range for me. It was literally like my skin tone, so there's no point me getting that. So for this look, we're going to go for a nice blushy glowy dewy look so this is the blush that i have it is the feeling blush in the shade coral rose four looks like so it's actually a really really pretty color so i hope it works because i'm digging it and we started off rocky but like i think we actually might have something pretty nice today so that is blusher it's like it's actually really really cute i'm not sure if i should put some more on because the camera isn't quite picking it up but in person like it's there okay so that is blush done i did a bit more because i wanted a bit more of a pop for the camera but i like this this is actually really really good if i had to pick a favorite so far it is this just 100 love it so now it's time for some highlight sadly i couldn't find any powder highlight they only had a cream highlight so i'm wondering how it's gonna go on top of all this powder maybe i should have used it before but me. Eh. It'll be fine. This one is the Makeup Gallery Glow with the Flow Cream Highlighter in the shade Bloom 2. Like, see that? Oh. oh my god. So that is the highlighting portion done. Ooh. Ooh, okay, I like. It's now time for the eyes. So for the eyes, I have ba bam. This is a little Makeup Gallery Do The Duo Eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Noir Pink. They did have a bunch of other like eyeshadow duos, but I feel like this is the one that I'd use the most, so 
here we go oh actually do you know what? i'm gonna use some of this and use some of the blusher because i'm feeling the pink vibe that's going on right now so i'm gonna start off by using some of the blush up close definitely is um a bit patchy and weird but not bad not bad okay not bad anyway i'm gonna move on with the rest of the eyeshadow so on this little quad i basically have like a very shimmery whitish pink and like a very blackish brown honestly i'm not sure what i want to do with this like i'm scared i'm gonna ruin the eye makeup but let's just go for it okay so i tried to add a little bit of definition to make it a bit more dramatic so i put like the black here and here and i blended it out kind of turned into like a weird pinkish gray now but like it's okay it's okay it's not bad i wasn't really sure where i was going with this look anyway um i think i'm gonna try and add a bit more pink in the middle and then add like the shimmer in the middle and hopefully that like saves it a bit more i feel like that did um pretty much nothing try blending it like as much as i could for like 10 minutes straight and this is the best i could do like i feel like it's okay like it's dramatic it's fun it's okay it's okay to finish it up i'm just gonna add a little bit of the pink from the blush under my eyes now i'm just gonna go back to my cream highlight and i'm gonna put that under my brow bone for a bit of a highlight Honestly, I should just use this as the eyeshadow because this is great. So I want to add like a little inner corner pop with some highlight, but I'm not sure if I should use like the shimmery eyeshadow or the actual highlighter. So I think I'm going to use both. I'm going to start off with the cream and then top it with the shimmer. And hopefully that does a little some, some. So I feel like I did a little something. I'm not sure if it's a nice something, but... It definitely did a something. Anyway, now that it's done, it's time for some mascara and some lashes and the eyebrows and the lips. I think I'm gonna take a break from the eyes and just do the lips for now because honestly, looking at like my pale lips, I'm just like, no girl, I need some cooler, some cooler. So for lipstick, I'll be using the All About The Pout Color Moisture Lipstick in the shade four, which is Chocoa Mocha. Literally Chocoa Mocha, spelled really weirdly, but. <laughs> It looks like it, would, it looked like it was gonna be the prettiest color, so I thought, hey ho, let's try it. Give it a whirl. It's definitely a pretty lipstick, but it does have the tendency to like get into the creases and um, cling to dry skin. But it is kind of hydrating at the same time, so like I don't know what it's doing, but it's okay. Not bad pretty color i think it does complement the look quite well anyway now back to the eyes we're gonna start off with the mascara and this is the turn up the volume and define mascara with lengthening fibers this mascara creates length precise definition and separation with vitamin 5b no b5 let's see if it does all those things if it doesn't it's okay because i bought some fake lashes and the lashes actually look pretty good so it's okay okay so i'm just gonna curl my lashes just to give them a bit of a fluff because they are very stubborn and very straight so mascara is definitely pretty but it didn't seem to hold the curl like it does separate the lashes and make them look a bit longer but because my lashes are so stubborn it literally just won't hold the curl and they're slowly starting to deflate which is really really sad maybe with a primer it'll work really really good but on its own for me it's just not really working that much so these are lashes that i'm using i have some high hopes for these because these actually look really really pretty they look really fluttery and flirty and just beautiful so hopefully they look really nice in my eyes and these are the fern mccann estella eyelashes it does have quite a thick of a band so hopefully i don't need to blend it with eyeliner because i didn't buy any eyeliner i'm just gonna give them a little bit of bend so hopefully they stay nice and curved because the problem i always have with like lashes with a thicker band is that the edges just stick out or they stab me and i don't really want that today okay so these lashes look really pretty but the glue is just not happening just it's, it's not 
it's not working at all so I'm gonna have to use a different glue and pray for the best. So the lashes are on, I think they look pretty good, like I actually really like them. I think the only thing that I don't like is the fact that the lash band is so thick because I feel like here you can really really tell. Anyway, the last and final step that we have are brows and for my brows I have the Makeup Gallery Take a Brow Brow Pencil and, and this is in the shade black number one. Okay, so my brows are done, and I will say the brow pencil is very nice, but it's a bit too blendable. Like, on here it says blendable colour, which is very true, but sometimes it just smudges way too easily. Like, it was really difficult to do, like, the edges of my brows without it getting, like, everywhere. I had to clean it up with a sponge, but, like, it's alright. Like, I can't complain too much. I think I'm gonna try and use this on my eyes because the gap between like the band and my eye is like really bothering me and there we go that my dudes is the makeup portion complete originally i was gonna buy an outfit from powerland but then i wasn't sure if you'd be able to even see it in the video and honestly in this video you can't really see that outfit so i thought whatever let's forget it but if you are interested in a powerland outfit of the day then you know do let me know but for now it's time to get changed and complete the hijab so i just my scarf and put on my poundland clippies yes poundland clippies i basically bought this whole wheel and this thing for a pound each like ooh, yes i'm going to be the clip queen but yeah guys that was this whole video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that notification button to be notified when i upload new videos oh my god i'm out of breath but yeah guys don't forget to follow me on instagram at simon smiles like i post lots of cool stuff on there so make sure you head on over there but yeah guys that brings us to the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it hopefully it's helpful guys and i'll see you in the next one bye